What's up, guys? It's me, Boxing, and I just finished up watching Kazuto Ioka versus Kosei Tanaka, which is a 12-rounder for the WBO Super Flyweight World Championship. And this fight was Thursday, December 31st, from the Ota City General Gymnasium in Tokyo, Japan. And in this fight, it really showed the sheer power and why Kazuto Ioka is one of the top fighters at Super Flyweight as he gets the 8th-round knockout victory over Kosei Tanaka. Overall, I scored the fight 68-63, agreeing with two of the judges, the other one scored at 69-62 in favor of Ioka. Ioka, in my opinion, was controlling the fight with his pressure, and he was landing the better shots. Well, with uh, Kosei Tanaka, he was trying to land many shots, but many of them would be hitting the gloves of Ioka, as I noticed in the first round and the second round, that T Tanaka was trying to put through some great combinations, but Ioka would just counter with a beautiful right hand or an uppercut to the body that would sort of stop Tanaka in his tracks. Overall... Um, Kosei Tanaka getting his first defeat, and by knockout, I predicted a very close split decision or um, unanimous decision win for um, Ioka, but ultimately, like nobody else predicted, everyone else predicted this to be a war and for it to be a very close decision, but what happened was a beautiful left hook knockout win for Kazuto Ioka, and let me just break down the stoppage. Um, Ioka landed a beautiful left hook that sent um, Tanaka out on his feet, but Tanaka didn't go down. He was just sort of sitting there dazed and out, and the referee um, made a brilliant stoppage, in my opinion. No controversy there, because Ioka really put Tanaka out on his feet. I mean, he wasn't doing anything, Tanaka. He was just sitting there blank, and if the referee didn't stop it, he could have got seriously hurt. But um, overall, what is next for um, Kosei Tanaka now getting his first taste of defeat by knockout after he moved up in weight to challenge for the WBO Superfly World title. I'm not really too sure if this is really a big option for him, but maybe he can move back down to flyweight and capture his WBO Flyweight World title once again. And I know he could definitely win that world title, but um, if I were him, I would possibly do that as opposed to staying at uh, Super Flyweight and taking on some of the tougher champions like Estrada, um, Chocolatito, and possibly a rematch with Ioka. So I think he should possibly move back down to weight and get a comeback fight before challenging for another world title. But what's next for Kazuto Ioka? I think that he should definitely unify or possibly take on um, Sirisket Sorong Visai because um, Sorong Visai is ranked number 7 in the WBO and possibly for these other guys ranked there like Mick Williams of Royal, he's ranked number 3, but I believe that he already fought Ioka a couple of years back. But... Um, yeah, I definitely think um, Strong Visa is definitely a good shout for an opponent for Ioka, being that he's already ranked number one in the WBC, and since Estrada and uh, Chocolatito were fighting, in, I believe is in March, so they're already busy with the WBC, so being that um, Strong Visa is already ranked number one, so that he's ranked number seven in the WBO, so that'll definitely be a good fight for Ioka, and I'm not really too sure who wins that fight, because Strong Visa is such a good fighter, he gave Chocolatito some of the toughest fights in his life, knocking him out and winning um, on points, but um, that'll be a very good fight, and I gotta say, this fight was back and forth, non-stop action, even though Ioka was ahead by a wide margin, he still was getting hit a lot, and so was Tanaka, obviously, it was a very good fight in my opinion, but um, it was, what a great way to end the year, a um, very good fight as overall, Kazuto Ioka defends his WBO Super Flyweight World title, improving to 26-2, getting his 15th knockout in the 8th round with a beautiful left hook. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm Ami Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.